Hello friends, welcome to cybercatsolutions.com. In this session, I am going to explain how to fillet and chamfer entities. First of all, we shall see fillet command. Fillet is nothing but fitting a arc at corners like this. So if you want to use tool button, go to modify group and click this flyout button and select this fillet command. If you want to use shortcut command, simply type F at command prompt. I am using command. So type F at command prompt and press enter. Now if you observe the current settings over here, current mode is in trim and current radius is 0. Command prompt says select first object. So if you select first object and select object, so as the radius is 0, nothing will happen. So if you want to fill it two lines, if you want to fit an arc between the two intersecting lines, you must give some radius. So let us try that one. Type F at command prompt and press enter. Now try to change the radius. So to change radius, select radius option. You can type R at command prompt and press enter. Now it is asking to specify the fillet radius. Let us say I am giving 4 units. Now it is asking to select first object. So I am clicking over here and it is asking to select second object. I am clicking over here. You can see a preview is coming. After picking only you will get the original fillet. So I am selecting the second object. You can see the extra lines are trimmed out and there is an arc is fit between these two lines. So this is the fillet command. As current trim mode is in trim, the extra lines are trimmed out. Let us try with the other mode of the trim. So I am undoing this. Now take fillet command again. Type F at command prompt and press enter. Now go to trim mode. Just select this trim option. There are trim and no trim. Two options are there. Earlier we have used trim option. Now let us try with no trim option. So click this option and again change the radius. Say I am giving four units. Now if you pick first object and second object. We have got the fillet arc as well as the lines are left as they are, means they are not trimmed out. So if you want the lines get trimmed after filleting, you must keep trim mode in trim. So let us try again that one. So type F at command prompt, go to trim mode and set trim mode to trim. And the radius, I want to give again 4 units. Now if you try to fillet these two lines, you can see the extra lines are trimmed out and there is a fillet. So this is how filleting lines. And I want to explain one more uh, option available from, from the fillet command. So type F at command prompt and take trim option and set it to trim. Similarly take radius option and set the radius required. And if you want to do multiple fillets continuously, you can take multiple options available, available from the command prompt. Simply click this option and just keep on going selecting objects like this so that you can continuously fillet entities like this. You don't have to repeat the same command again and again. So this is some advantage. So you can do multiple fillets like this. And I want to let you know one more advantage of the fillet command. Let us say you have two lines are like this and you want to extend these two lines so that they get intersected. For that also you can use fillet command. Simply type F at command prompt and change the radius to 0 and select these two objects. As the radius is 0, those two objects will be extended to uh, get intersected. That is another advantage of this fillet command. We can also fill it arcs and circles. Let us see one example. Type F at command prompt and change radius. I am giving some 15 units. Now I want to fill it this big circle and this small circle. So when it is asking to select first object, I am selecting this circle. Then it is asking for the second object, I am selecting this circle. You can see a fill it over here. Similarly take fill it command. And I want the same radius so I am not changing it. And select these two circles. You can see a fill it over. Like this you can fill it even circles and arcs also. Now we shall see chamfer command. So to chamfer entities go to modify group and click this flyout button and you can click this chamfer command over here. So to chamfer entities you have to provide two distances as shown in the picture distance 1 and distance 2. First distance will be trimmed on first selected object and second distance will be trimmed on second selected object and there will be an intermediate line uh, will be drawn from the trimmed lines as shown in the picture with red color. Let us see how to do that one. So shortcut command for sh 
chamfering is CHA. Type CHA at command prompt and press enter. Now check the current settings. Trim mode is in trim mode and distance 1 is 3 units, distance 2 is 3 units. You can also give different distances to distance 1 and 2. Let us let them as they are the units and try to follow the command prompt. It is saying select first line. I am going to select this line as first line and it is saying select second line, select the second line. You can see a preview. Just click that one. You will get the chamfer like this. And if you set trim mode to no trim as in the case of fillet, so the extra lines will be left as they are. Let us see how to do that one. So type CHA at command prompt and go to trim mode and set to no trim option. And again change the distances. Say I am giving, I am selecting distance option and giving first distance as 3 units and second distance as 4 units. Now it is asking to select first line. I am selecting this line first and this line as second. You can see that first distance is 3 units and I want to show you with a linear dimension. You can see 3 units and the second distance is 4 units. You can see that one. So like this trim uh, chamfer command will create a chamfer with the given distances. Uh, as first distance on first object and second distance on second object and if you set trim mode to trim it will trim the corner lines uh, from the chamfer line type cha at command prompt and go to trim mode and set this to trim option then again select first line and select line now you can see those two lines are being trimmed out so that is the advantage of trim mode Similarly, let us say if you have multiple chamfers continuously, you can go for the multiple option available. So type CHA at command prompt and enter the distances. Let us say 4 units by 4 units as first and second distances. Then select multiple option on the command prompt to continuously chamfer multiple objects. So I have taken multiple option. You can directly keep on picking points like this. So this is another advantage of multiple chamfers. So this is how filleting and chamfering objects in AutoCAD. Friends, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends. Thanks for watching and welcome to the next session.